Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 5 of Project Live Fully. Uh, it's amazing to say that. It's, I, I can't believe that it's already week 5 of this project and I'm so happy to have seen where we are now compared to where we were on week 1. Ray has been able to share his story and the motivation of how pursuing this dream has helped him escape from kind of a dark place that he'd found himself in after his previous accident. He's grown from zero to over a thousand subscribers, not just in the top, last five weeks, but we were able to hit that milestone last week. So that was really exciting to have been there for that milestone with him. And he's been able to show off that he's a true artist, that he's not just able to customize shoes, but he can do pretty much any format that he wants. And he's been showing off some of his canvas work too and the custom work he's doing there. On a similar note, Jay is able to do the same thing where he's not just a comic book artist, he's not just a sketch artist, but he's able to do these large scale murals for different projects. He's been recruited to do all sorts of things around the city. Um, and additionally, he's a dance teacher, so he's able to show off his art. And I'm excited to see how the dance and the kinesthetics will change into or be played into his comic book and all of that. Um, and seeing his passion as he works through the different topics and when he looks at a page of a comic book and you see all of the detail that go into it, all the different techniques and lighting and things of that sort. My dog is going crazy on the uh, squeaker toy in the other room, if you can hear that. But the, um, so it's just, it's amazing to see the things that Jay notices in this art and those things that you kind of feel but you don't notice unless you really pay that kind of close attention and have an eye for it. And for myself personally, I've been so lucky to the support and the help from friends and family and the joy that working on this project is giving me and I do feel like I'm living more fully and it's been able to kind of help ground me and connect me with my grandfather unfortunately after he's passed away but um, it feels really good to be working on this and I've had a lot of fun doing it's stress relief for me it's I've been putting in so many hours on this but I've enjoyed every second of it so it doesn't feel like work and that's kind of a really exciting thing for me on the other side of that, this last week was a crazy hectic one. We have, we're moving in a couple weeks. We also have some family that's moving that we're helping out with there, getting them all ready and that'll give me a chance to do some real estate photography, which I'll talk about later. My future brother-in-law is actually leaving for the Air Force to basic training um, tomorrow morning. So congratulations, Jake. We're all so excited for you, and I'm glad that we got the chance over the last couple weekends to spend time with you and the family that came in to see you off. Um, additionally, uh, we have the wedding coming up in September, so we've been getting things organized for that. I still have a day job that I work as a project coordinator. I'm trying to keep myself healthy and improve my health. So the first part of that is continuing to try to go to the gym consistently, going with my dad too, to try to both keep each other accountable on that. And I have, um, I got the haircut and everything this week, so a little bit cleaner um, and trying to keep myself improving in that sense. Um, but looking back at the last few weeks, I think that the first couple videos on the project and the work that I was doing were kind of all saying the same thing each week where we were talking about what the inspiration for the project was and what I wanted it to be and just saying over and over again that I was going to be a National Geographic photographer. I think that week three was kind of a start of something where I started getting myself to figure out some pieces that I should have been working on, where it's talking about not knowing what my identity is. And I think that that's an important step to recognize that you a, don't know the answer and then to start trying to figure out and work through and test what you think it's going to become and obviously I don't know the answer for sure yet but in week four I was able to make my video about becoming a storyteller and then releasing building dreams which really felt like the start of something that I was supposed to be doing and that this is the right path um, so that leads me into the three to four types of video and content that I really think that I'd like to be making moving forwards and so the first part is the short story uh, videos that I'm going to be doing. So that's a series of videos all about my grandfather's poems and his stories that he left us with through his books and his Facebook posts. And along with me narrating them, I'm also going to be trying to have different family members narrate stories that are important to them and that they identify with. 
I hope that this not only helps us stay connected and keep his work alive and keep that positive message moving forwards and continuing to impact people, but it should help me become a better storyteller. And as I shift eventually away from just doing B-roll like stock footage for those videos as the uh, B-roll on top of the narration, which was also something important. Like I think that making that video was a big step in my skill level. Um, just that I couldn't have done that a couple weeks ago and learning about the different sound design and trying to get clips to flow together. But that eventually I'll be able to make my own footage for those and that'll help me become a better filmmaker in general, which is definitely important for all of this. Um, and just trying to get more comfortable talking in front of the camera. The second type of video are the mini adventure series. So that's right now is exploring St. Louis. And my brother had given me that book of 100 things to do in St. Louis before you die, which is just like a hundred wonderful date ideas for all over the city and so those are chances for me and the fiance and our little family to get out of the house go do something fun but uh beneficial to our project it's a chance to go experience different scenarios and situations where night versus day public versus private restaurants versus parks attractions whatever it is and shooting in different conditions and situations that those would give me um, so that's just a chance to keep growing as well um, so we started off that one. The first story was Building Dreams. The first park, the first attraction around St. Louis was Lawmeyer Sculpture Park. Additionally, the third type of video is also aimed at trying to help me improve and create interesting content, which will be the photo challenges. These will be where at the beginning of the week, I will release a specific subject, style, and handicap prompt, where it might be like black and white, automotive or like black and white's the style automotive is the subject and then some handicap like no edits or um, beyond what I have to do in the camera to make it black and white or um, keeping it certain level off the ground or a certain lighting condition like high noon lights things of that sort to try to make it harder additionally I'm really excited about that one because I think that they'll not just be fun but I've also been able to through the different networking groups that I've joined found friends that'll do that with me and so it'll be able to not like we'll, we'll compete and try to have the best photos each week but i'm mostly excited not just for that but for the motivation and that i'm excited to see what they'll come up with when i get outside of my own perspective of what i hear when i hear automotive but somebody else might take it in a completely unique direction and i'll be able to see well how did you do that or wow I, how did you like i wouldn't have thought to do that and so i'm really excited to see where that goes Additionally, the fourth type that I'd like to do is focused on trying to not just expand my current skill set, but turn this and help me grow the brand and the business into a place where it's self-sustaining. So this will be my exploring of different styles of photography. Right now, my initial focus is on portrait and real estate photography. Real estate where I have the chance coming up here where I have family members that are putting their house on the market and they've already actually had a pro come through and do work on their house. So my plan is that I will go and watch some YouTube videos and try to learn up on real estate photography and then go and see what I can come up with doing real estate for their house, talking about what they care about, but I'll figure out my photos and come together with like my top 25, 40 photos, whatever they normally have for the house. And then I can compare that to what the professional did and kind of see where there's room for improvement and what I didn't think of. So I think that'll be an interesting video. Similarly, I'm trying to do portrait. Um, I started off earlier in the week, the other couple weeks ago with the new puppy and trying to do some pet portrait stuff. and. Um, just make sure the dog's not getting into anything crazy over there. Um, and doing some maybe babies or friends and family and senior graduation, those kind of type portraits and not start off charging anything, but trying to develop a portfolio and get that practice in working with real people, um, as a subject matter and hope that I can start building the portfolio and then start attracting clients from people who see what I do for them. And that'll be able to help me start funding this project um, so that the next lens that I buy and from there drones and gimbals and all the other cool things that I would want to get for this and more backdrop stuff and help set up my studio better. And there's all sorts of things I wanna buy. It's not a cheap hobby by any means, but I want to make sure that the next thing that I buy for this project was funded by my work as a photographer. So I think real estate photography and portraits are the initial way that I'm gonna start trying to do that. Um, 
So that's kind of where we've been, where we're going, and additionally, I want to find a way to show, and I think that that's important for like the documentary part of this, is to show what I was actually learning each week. So doing the tutorials, I think I might still try to do a couple of those and see if I can get a formula right. But if nothing else, I've been thinking about a way to, I don't know if it's gonna be a list or a video, but what, of uh, doing like what I learned this week, where I will show a list of why well, I, I learned this, 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 and this in DaVinci Resolve, I learned this, 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 and this in Premiere Pro, I've been working in both a little bit, what I learned about my camera gear, what I learned about gear in general, what I learned about new techniques, what I learned from my weekly experiences, so I can kind of track like week one I learned this, week two I learned that, because it's uh, I definitely need to make sure I'm doing that because there's so much already and what I've learned from week one to week five is already significant, so that's kind of the game plan of we're figuring out what the channel is going to be. I found a couple of content things that I've started new series for, and I'm excited to see where they go. I'm so happy with Jay and Ray and what we're doing and the new networking and friends that we're having or that we're finding along this journey. And I'm so happy that I'm trying to get more comfortable talking in front of you, and I'm just happy to be where I am, and it feels like I'm living more fully. So thank you so much for watching. To continue to support us in this channel, please like the video, share the video, subscribe to this channel as well as our different platforms for me, Jay, and Ray. Personally, Jay's got his YouTube channel, I've got my private YouTube channel that'll all be linked below, and Ray's got his Instagram now with over a thousand subscribe or followers. He's growing so fast, it's amazing. Um, but thanks again and have a great rest of your day. Bye.